Hey there, this is Josh from the Redneck Homestead Channel. Thanks for joining me. For today's little project, we're going to do a very, very simple rocket stove. It's snowing like crazy outside. We just did a little bit of plowing, and uh, frankly, in a storm like this, there's nowhere that I'd rather be than inside of my shop. So, we're going to be doing a little bit of welding. I've set up this uh, welding blanket here because this is an old barn, and uh, it's just a tinder box, and I hate to see it go up in flames over my little rocket stove. So. We're going to start this project with the uh, chop saw. We're going to cut a couple of 45s. It's going to be a very, very simple L-shaped 90 degree rocket stove with a small shelf in the, um, in the, in the fuel chamber. And um, that's that. All right, we have the first cut made. You can see this stuff is really thick walled. It's quarter inch wall, which is definitely overkill for a stove like this, but that's what the steel supply store had on hand, and so we grabbed it. Um, geez, you can see it's just there's just a lot of meat on there, but it'll give something for the weld to bite into and uh, be a good first round um, practice stove to make. See how simple this design is here? All we're gonna do is weld this 45 degree angle right here and then we're going to install a shelf around half the way up. Now this design intends to supply the fuel in the top on the top of the shelf and below there's an area for all the air to pass through. There's going to be combustion back in through here and there's going to be an airflow through the bottom of the shelf that's going to be supplying a tremendous amount of air to the coals, the burning coals in the back, and then of course the exhaust comes out the chimney. Now we only want the shelf to go as far back as here, the reason being we want to make sure that we have this chimney completely unobstructed the entire way through. So we want to cut our shelf in our case to about seven and a quarter, seven, yeah, seven and three eighths or so. We've got a bunch of plate steel, but this piece that we found here is a quarter inch thick, which is a little bit thick for this project, but this width here is six inches. We really need it to be around seven, seven and a half, but for this shelf, it doesn't really much matter. All we need is a platform upon which to um, hold our fuel elevated off the, um, the bottom of the, the, um, the feed tube. So I think we're going to spare ourselves of the use of all of the other material and spare ourselves of the need to cut a lot and just use this six inch piece and we're going to cut it exactly two and a half which is the inside diameter of the three by three tube. All right so the inside diameter of our tubing is two and a half inches. It's three inches from outside wall to outside wall with quarter inch walls, half an inch of total wall space. So we've cut a piece of plate steel to exactly two and a half inches. It slides in nice and easily and we're going to weld that in place to create our shelf. Now all we need to do is weld this thing up real quick. All right, we have our shelf welded in now. The air is going to pass through here. The fuel is going to sit on top here, and it's going to create um, a crazy draft right up through this little smokestack here. Now, all that's left to do is to weld on some legs and some holders for the uh, the pot on the top of the chimney. All right, the rocket stove is hanging upside down off the edge of the welding table. We cut up a couple of pieces of eight-inch long angle iron that we had left over from the heavy duty steel loading ramps project. We're going to weld these on just like this. These will just help stabilize the rocket stove, elevate it off the ground a little bit, and uh, provide as kind of feet or legs or what have you. You can see our smokestack is leaning off to the left a little bit, and that's because when we first cut the, um, the channel beam, the stock material slipped out of the locking vise on the chop saw. But that's all right. It's going to be good for our purposes. We've locked some quarter inch rod into a vise. We're using a very primitive method of uh, creating 
the little burner stands here. We're just going to bend it. We've inserted the rod a half inch into the vise, and then we're going to manually bend it, and they're going to look like this. So once we have four of them, we'll weld them onto the four corners. We'll have stands for our pot, and we'll be cooking away. Well, here you have it. We have our completed first version of the rocket stove. This is a really, really basic, simple design. And um, we're going to light this thing up in a little while. We'll probably do the light up in another video. But uh, you can see the little burner holders that we welded on up here. All they are is little pieces of bent quarter inch steel rod. Got our little legs here. Hold it straight up. We got our shelf in here. Which will keep our fuel off the ground. And then we have our lopsided smokestack. But, hey, give us a break. We deserve a break. Just kidding. Well, thanks for joining us in this video. Appreciate you taking the time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It helps us understand what kind of content you're looking for. We're going to light this thing up on the next video. If you haven't already subscribed, we'd love it if you would. Just hit the subscribe button, and uh, you'll be notified of new videos when they come out. All right, until the next video, we'll see you then. We adjusted the burner stands to account for the lean in the smokestack, and we've got it almost level. Level within reason anyways, and then we had this brilliant idea to create a skittle. Skillet, whatever you call it. Skittle? <laughs> Skittles are the candy. Skillet's what you cook on. So, uh, that's kind of silly, considering all the heat concentration will be right there. But, looks pretty decent. <laughs>